Hello again. So if you've been watching, you know that not too long ago, we did a video complaining about eBay, complaining about eBay's customer service and how it is completely buyer based and does not help or protect its sellers. So you've really got to protect yourself. And that's what we have done. I have a video clip that I'm going to show here in a minute to demonstrate this. I've gotten in the habit and we've gotten in the habit of videotaping when we open returns, because as you know, no matter what your store policies are on eBay, one, you don't actually have an eBay store because they run the show. And two, if they tell you you're taking a return, guess what? You are taking a return. You can't refuse it. So when these packages come, we cut them open on camera. We film it just in case there's a problem. Got one too many packages back that did not have in it what was sent out. It was fraudulent. And that's what we've done here. This is related to the last video because it's the same customer. It's been a month now we've been fighting with eBay and they're still trying to force us to, uh, to give a refund to this person. As of right now, it's up in the air because of this video. You've got to protect yourself because eBay is not going to protect you. So, um, I've edited the beginning of this video so that you will not see pertinent information because I show the eBay username, the name of the individual, and the address, and I read it and I show it on the video before I start cutting the box open. So that part will be cut out for legal reasons, <laughs> and you will see it from where I'm razoring open the box. So let's take a look at that. I've been getting back packages with items in it that were not my items so now i keep a video record in case there's any issues and inside this uh, that's a lot of packing foam and my original box I'll open my original box This is the box that I originally sent to her. And there's nothing here. This is an empty box. This is why I record this stuff. This person is trying to get an eBay return from me and there's nothing here. And I have now a video reference for this so that I can show it to eBay. And again, inside here is nothing but packing foam. The item, which was a 14 karat gold Pandora bead that sold for $150 that they are returning, is not here. This is a fraud. It's empty! It's empty! That's right, it's empty. There's nothing in there this ebay buyer first they claimed they didn't get their item then they said they want to return it so we're like okay fine send it back send it back and they sent us back an empty box what they have and where most people would be screwed with this is they have a tracking number proving that they sent us something that's enough for ebay that is enough for ebay to sit there and say oh well you got a package but there's nothing in it. And now I can demonstrate to eBay that there is nothing in it, which is why we are pending, which is why they have not taken the money yet. It's still up in the air, still waiting on a decision. We will see what happens here. And hopefully I'll be able to show some good news for our effort at some point here in the future. It, it's pretty cut and dry. This person is committing a fraud. And if eBay doesn't do anything about it, I'll, I'll continue to pursue it because they'll just turn around and they'll do the same thing to someone else. If they get away with it with me, they'll get away with it with the next one and the next one and the next one. And God knows how many times until eBay finally steps up and does something. So cover your butt. You know, I, I highly recommend that if you are a seller on eBay and you must take returns, absolutely videotape opening those packages. And if you've had any uh, really lousy experiences with eBay, 
go ahead and put something in the comment section below. Uh, we'd love to hear what you have to say.